could you please explain why it is misleading that some Advaitic teachers say that no sadhana is necessary? <laughs> it is. It is. Um, it is misleading for the simple reason that sadhana is absolutely necessary. Sadhana means, in the sense of practice, we need to. We cannot go deep within without constant practice, as Bhagavan so clearly indicates in so many ways. I mean, that sentence I talked about earlier in the sixth paragraph where Bhagavan says, Ipiti paraka paraka um, manatiku uh, tan pirupiditil tangi nikkam shakti adhikari kindradu by practicing and practicing. He repeats the word practice, paraka paraka. That means practicing and practicing. That means the practice has to go on persistently, constantly. And only by that practice will the strength of the mind to abide in it, to remain in its source, increase. So practice is absolutely necessary. Any, uh, any Vedantin who says practice is not necessary has not understood Vedanta at all. Many people give nice lectures on the philosophy of Vedanta, but they completely miss what is the practical implication of all of this. Vedanta is an extremely practical philosophy. And Bhagavan came to, to highlight what is, the, what is the practical implication of all of Vedanta. So Bhagavan's teachings are all about practice. So anyone who says practice is not necessary, they are, it's dam, diametrically opposed to Bhagavan's teachings, because Bhagavan's teachings are all about practice. Any teaching that said practice is not necessary is impractical teachings, quite frankly. So do we want practical teachings or impractical teachings? If we really want to know and to be what we actually are, we want practical teaching. How can we know and be what we actually are? Only by investigating ourselves and thereby surrendering ourselves. That is Bhagavan's teachings. That is the practical way. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Aranachala Ramanaya.